Damon, we've had a, a mix of news breaking items this year already in golf. Uh, if you woke up yesterday on the West Coast, you probably went, why is everybody talking about range finders on social media? PGA of America announcing starting this year at the PGA Championship on the KPMG Women's PGA Championship and the KitchenAid Senior PGA Championship. Measuring devices will be allowed for the players during tournament play. And a mixed reaction around the golf world about this. It's not going to really have an effect on pace of play because the caddies still do their addition on their math. The yardage device is simply there to double check it. If there's a discrepancy, oftentimes it takes really maybe a little bit longer to do it because they want to double check, but they want to get the right yardage. So don't expect this to speed up play, but look, it's the modern times. We're seeing practice rounds in shorts. We're seeing uh, players use these in practice rounds. It's no mystery what the, what the yardage is anymore. It's not like you're going out and getting your own yardage books. The yardage books are accurate to a, a centimeter. So uh, this is just a verification process. And in some ways, um, it may help players make the decision quicker, but uh, at the end of the day, don't expect this to be overall speeding up play. No. I mean, are we going to start giving training wheels to guys oh. riding in the Tour de France now? Come on. This is elite sport has to be about the potential for operator error. And what we're getting to in golf now is removing the possibility of that. These guys already had yardage books. They have a guy to do the calculations for them. They have the green slope books, which tell them every ebb and flow on the putting surface. They've got equipment that makes the game easier. The player is now being asked to do nothing else except take the club back. And I think elite golf ought to ask something more of these guys, have a little more variable in there than we have right now. And I don't buy the argument along with with Trip and Page, I don't buy the argument that it would help pace of play. In fact, I think all it does is add another data point that caddy and player will actually decide to figure out if they're into this range finding thing, which not all of them will be, but they're going to be considering yet more data. So, you know, what is Bryson DeChambeau going to show up with three range finders to allow for variance <laughs> between them? I mean, this is not going to have the desired effect. I think hopefully it speeds up the game. Um, I know that that's been a big topic of conversation for a long time. You know, Monday qualifiers, they've been doing it for a couple of years now. We're able to have range finders. So, um, you know, I don't, I don't see a downside to it. The caddies might be scared <laughs> if that becomes a trend, uh, especially if they start letting us use carts. But uh, uh, no, I, I mean, uh, my caddy's good, so I always I always tend to get the, the good numbers. Uh, I don't think it'll make too much of a difference. Um, and even on pace of play, I don't think it'll make a big difference just because, uh, you know, guys are still going to walk the numbers off. Guys are still going to do their homework. They're not just going to shoot the top of the bunker. And uh, I love this from John Wood. D. This uh, He posted yesterday on Twitter just uh, what his thoughts were, you know, things we need, covers of swales, bunkers, water, where we want the ball to land. I think that's the big point that I'll jump into in a bit. Um, he said, play will come to a screeching halt while player and caddy try and figure out why there's a discrepancy in terms of the distance. If they shoot a number and they've got a different number in the book, which one's right, which one's wrong. And he said, just not a, a fan of the decision of different voice here. Brittany Lincecum said, I'm torn. I'm praying it speeds everything up. But I don't know if it will. I feel like caddies will still walk off the number in the laser. So maybe extra time. The rules officials needs to give out more penalties. D, I, what are your thoughts when you heard this? Yeah, I, everyone was up in arms about it one way or the other. And I kind of wanted to take a step back and say, well, I want to wait to see what happens. You know, you know I want to see a PGA championship happen with the, the range finders and see if it slows down play or speeds up play. I don't know the answer, so I actually reached out to a caddy and texted him last night and said, what do you think will happen? And he told me the most important yardage is the front edge and carry. We'll always have to figure that out, and you can't use a range finder for that. With a pro shooting with a laser, there will most likely be a discrepancy of one to three yards. And then he wrote, imagine Jordan and Greller going back and forth if it's 154 or 156. I thought that was great. So I was like, okay, so maybe this is going to have the potential to slow things down. And that's not what anyone wants. Yeah, I mean, you, you think back to the 2019 U.S. Open, Jordan Spieth on the eighth hole, and that was one of those moments the audio caught him kind of grilling yeah. Michael about a number, said, you know, you got me in a bad spot, hits it over the green, you know, wanting it to be right. And, I mean, that was somebody's error, right? User error, caddy error, maybe he flushed it, maybe it went five yards longer than he expected it to go. A uh, long ways away from Dean Beeman back in the 50s, yeah. uh, you know, kind of inventing the idea 
of a yardage book. I will say that I do feel like you lose a bit of the artistry of mm. that player and caddy relationship. You know, caddies at times w will lie, for lack of a better yes, term, for about numbers, stuff. knowing players are pumped up, yeah. knowing a, a guy is feeling this way or that, or, or, or a girl's feeling this way or that with their game, and will give them numbers five less or five longer. And actually, you know, something I tell my friends hmm. that play with the range finder, because we all have them now, right? We all use them. We all know the exact number to every single flag we play. When's the last time you played a par three and didn't know exactly what that number was right. when you stood over the tee? The one thing I always tell my friends is to think a little bit more like a pro caddy. Let's think about front. Let's think about back. Where is the whole location? Because we don't hit our clubs like pros hit them. Yes. So you've got to think about all the numbers. The greens are huge, right? Greens are big, big plots of land. There's a lot of clubs that could land on a green or could roll up to a green. Don't, don't be married to that range finder number. And I wonder if this does take a little bit of the artistry away from the caddy, especially when players hit it offline. I mean, yeah. let's go back to Jordan Spieth, right? What's the most famous moment of all of his yes. major titles? I mean, he's 100 yards right, and he's got a chance to, 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 to lose this open championship that he's yeah. in, and you've got to figure out a number there. You've got to figure out the right club. That is an art, and that is a skill that you could possibly lose with these rangefinders being involved. That being said, I mean, let's let's advance the technology, right? Let, yeah. Let's push it forward. And you're also potentially, you know, making the, the caddy's job less important. Right. Uh, and that's an aspect that I'm sure a lot of them are concerned about as well. And you know what I've said a hundred times already uh, in our, our short relationship on this show. The game of golf, in my opinion, for the best players in the world is getting too easy. And if this makes the game easier for them, I, that, that's not good. And in terms of the, the I love what you said the potential for losing artistry. We're already losing a lot of artistry in this game. You know, where are the Trevinos anymore? You know, where are the Seve's anymore? What, what did we freak out about last week? The, the tee shot from Bubba Watson at the 17th. Yes. That he played, you know, over Frank Lloyd Wright yeah. and cuts it back 40 yards. I mean, that that is something that we don't see as much. And again, that takes skill, it takes knowledge, it takes great hands, and it also takes understanding that if I cut the ball 40 or 50 yards, it's going to go 20 yards Shorter, you know, again, we have to see it. I, I'm with you. I yeah, thought that I was a great point you said. Let's see what it looks like yeah. with the week. What if these guys, but what if these guys go out there? What if the scoring record gets absolutely stomped down? What if somebody right. shoots five better than that number? What are people going to say then? That'll be the interesting conversation. What about the look of it, just aesthetically? Does that bother you? I, no, I, I don't think so. Again, okay. I, I think we, this is actually the, the reverse argument about, about uh, you know, the equipment and changing things there is we all use these things. Right. I don't know a single friend of mine that either doesn't use a range sure. finder or ask you what's oh, the number. Oh, I, I Every lost mine and I, and I was bummed out. You know, yes. I, I'm actually interested in three things here. Okay. One is how many players are going to leave it on the tee. Two is how many players are going to run out of a battery and either have to ask somebody for one or hope there's one in the bag. Right. And the third thing, and I said this on social media, you got to make sure you turn the slope off. It stresses me out every tournament yes. I play in that allows range finders. You got to hit that slope button. And I, I always get about the third or fourth hole and have a freak out moment. I go, did I turn the slope off? Yes, you, I, okay, thank goodness I did. And you can't use that, right? Right. It, it, you, it, you can only use distance and direction. Correct, correct. correct. You can't slope have will, any not, the... slope, slope will okay. continue to, to not be allowed, which is actually very interesting because now in yardage books, slope is taken into account. Yeah. You'll see numbers in the middle of these books for professional events yeah. that'll say minus five and plus five. So it's already kind of written in there. Yeah. So in a way, it should probably be involved in the process with the range finders as well. Well, you've talked about optics matter. I'm just wondering if it's the, you know, the final hole of the 72nd hole of a major and, you, and the player is there with his range finder looking at the, the, the final green. I mean, I wonder about the optics of that. I, I want to hear the conversation between the player and the caddy. I want to see the stress. I want to see the caddy walking back and forth. I'm not sure I want to see Justin Thomas there you know, with his range finder into the 72nd hole at Kiowa. I, I, I may have to get comfortable with that. And like I said, I want to see it, what it looks like. But, but just kind of saying it right now, I'm like, it makes me kind of want to go, ew. Well, and, you, and you think back to, to major championships of the past and what major fina finals yeah. would this have affected? I mean, you think about Phil Mickelson at Wingfoot, right? Mm. And he blows it left, hits the tree, and that third shot plugs in the bunker. You know, right. with the rangefinder, maybe that number's a little bit more accurate because yeah. they're so far offline, it is a bit of a guessing game there. Yeah. So it could, in a way, change some of the historical parts of the game as well. But again... Hey, we're embracing technology. We Things are, are changing are. in golf in 2021. Tom Watson at Turnberry, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I just, it just, it's not working for me yet, but 
We're going to wait and see. If, if you play with hickories, you probably aren't going to be a fan. <laughs> That's probably fair to say. Uh, good point.